What's up guys, Sky Kevin here, and today we're going over the Great Axe for New World. We're going to go into each of its skills, its abilities, and fighting styles associated with the weapon. So, let's get started. The Great Axe, at the point of making this video, easily is the most used and overpowered weapon right now in New World. I don't think this is going to stay the same for launch, so this may be outdated soon enough, but there are a few clear meta problems with the Battle Axe involving the massive damage it inflicts, the level of movement it gives, and the overall lockdown you can inflict on other players. So far for this beta, it has been the most used weapon, either primary or secondary, regardless of whatever type of armor or secondary weapon the other player is using. There are healers that incorporate the Great Axe into their build just because it's all around that good. For the mastery tree, we have Reaper and Mauler. The first ability is Charge, which rushes the character forwards 10 meters. It's uninterruptible and deals more damage the further you travel to reach the enemy. Reap pulls an enemy in from 8 meters away and heals you for 30% of the damage done and does an additional spin attack. Execute is uninterruptible, deals 300% damage to enemies under 50% HP, and will always crit on enemies under 30% HP. Whirlwind spins around, hitting an enemy 7 times, and if you have more than 3 enemies around you, it deals an extra 30% damage. Maelstrom absorbs all projectiles and pulls all enemies in, dealing damage. Gravity Well throws a 10 meter AoE that pulls anyone trapped in it towards the center and gives allies a 20% additional damage reduction while standing inside of it. For ultimates, you have Bloodlust, which gives you 30% movement speed and 15% damage when looking at an enemy player within 15 meters, and Mauler's Fury, which increases damage done by 3% for every attack you do up to a total stackable amount of 30% damage increase. The passives for this weapon include healing 10% for any critical damage done, 15% damage buff if your attack is blocked, critical damage increased by 10%, attacks against enemies under 30% HP heal for 10% of the damage done, light attacks give 5% damage buffs with 3 stacks maximums for 5 seconds, 10% armor penetration on attacks for foes under 50% HP, 15% higher crit chance on enemies under 30% HP, hitting 2 enemies with 1 swing gives a 20% haste, gain 40 stamina if you're hit while under 50% HP, 30% longer pull durations, 10% damage when 3 or more foes are within 4 meters of you, heavy attacks pull foes closer, adds grit and 20% damage reduction when swinging a heavy attack, 5% damage buff up to a maximum of 3 stacks by blocking an attack, and 10% damage absorption when 3 or more enemies are within 4 meters. When it comes to the Great Axe, the meta is pretty clear cut. As I said before, pretty much everybody uses the charge, gravity well, and pull since they can pretty much chase down any player right now. In fact, that's most likely why you see everyone in the beta with great axes as their offhand. It's definitely something that needs to be changed for launch, or all we'll see when it comes to fights are a bunch of great axe users with healers behind them also holding great axes. It's a shame because I think there are some really cool abilities that the great axe has to become a staple frontliner, but they definitely need to ease up on the level of mobility and lockdowns that they have. If you're going to be using the great axe, let me know what kind of build you're planning to go with in the comments below. I always make sure I read all of them and answer all of the questions. I'm always making more videos like this one on New World and other MMOs, so don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.